possible. Yeah, just try to do as little leading as possible until the end, and then um, just get out in front and get, have clear barriers and make sure I don't fall. So. Uh, got through. Felt pretty good. So How many like your scenes gone leading into this? You pleased with kind of the, the build up to it, or is it going to all lead to this? Yeah, uh, I mean it all leads to this. Um, all the races earlier this season were just kind of get out and race and spin the legs and uh, compete, but I wasn't really looking for anything. Oh yeah, absolutely. Special out of any of those races. I just wanted to get out and have fun. And um, my main focus, my only focus this year has been uh, coming here, being fit, and making the team. And then hopefully, if I make the team do well in Rio. Do you like on the, on the pace where you kind of want to be at the yeah. end of the final now? Yeah, definitely. Um, our, our whole team had an awesome altitude uh, training camp in Park City um, about a full month. And, uh, everyone got really fit, so um, it's nice to come down and uh, prove that fitness and hopefully make a team. And then uh, just, if I do make a team, put in a little more work and get to Rio and be healthy and mega fit. So you I'm excited. You used to be in this favorite role. I mean, you're talking about making a team, but everybody thinks you're going to make it. This is kind of yeah. the time now when you're kind of the guy that everybody's looking to in this country. Yeah. In this event. Yeah, it's, it's fun. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you dream of being in this position, so I, w I wouldn't prefer to be the number three, four, or five guy, like, hoping to make the team. I'd much rather be in my position, um, but it's also a lot of fun. Uh, it's, it never gets easy uh, coming out here being the favorite. There's always stuff you can work on, and, um, like, even my teammates are mega fit, and Dan proved that last year. He beat me at Worlds, yeah. so um, it, it's fun. I, I enjoy the challenge. Long with the New York Times. For somebody like you, that's at the, you know, the upper end of the elite level, is what happened in Paris something that you did over with right away, or is it stick with no, you? No, that stuck. That in Beijing stuck with me for a long time. Uh, it was probably until. Um, I mean, the disappointment in Beijing replaced the disappointment in Paris pretty quickly. So uh, I kind of forgot about Paris. Um, Paris was pretty easy to get over because. It was still my best performance ever, and um, there was so much positive feedback from mm -hmm. that race, even mm -hmm. with the fall, that there was a sil silver lining, and I still f felt good about the race, especially with where my fitness was mm -hmm. at. Beijing was a different story. I had super high hopes going in there, and um, was nowhere close to that, so that was really disappointing, and that took me a while to get over. In retrospect, was it, what was, why do you think? What happened in Beijing happened? Um, I think part of it was mental. Mm -hmm. um, the time between Paris and Beijing was relatively short okay. in the term, in the like grand scheme of things mm -hmm. in the whole season. So I had to change my mindset from like believing that I could medal to being number one or number two in the world and like mm -hmm. expecting to medal and. Um, that mindset, the change of mindset, like, it was a little hard to deal with in that short of time. And then also, uh, after Paris, um, training, workouts just felt a little bit harder than what I wanted them to, and um, I think I started thinking that I had peaked a little too early, and, and then I didn't execute the best race strategy. Uh, on the day. So there was a lot of things that went into it. Um, but I think the biggest thing was like having, like just my mindset was not in the right, right place. And um, I've had a full year to think about that. I, I was just going to ask you, you've had a year to yeah. digest it now. And so you, you, yeah. yeah, like coming into the full year of training with that mindset has helped me a ton. And I'm, as long as I make the team, I'm very. Uh, excited and ready mentally to go into what's Korea. that what is that 